morning guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my journey with coming off of the birth control pill and basically all of um, contraception in general. Now disclaimer, I am doing this video without any makeup on because some of the side effects that I have had since coming off the pill um, are skin and acne problems and I want this to be as transparent and as honest as possible for you guys so that you can get the full picture. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little disclaimer there because I know I usually wear makeup in my videos. Um, so for context, I first went onto the pill when I was 16 years old. I am now almost 24. So I went on to um, Estelle, I'm pretty sure it was called. And now I was on that from 16 to 22 until mid last year where I started experiencing some side effects where my libido was completely gone, like negative a thousand, just not even existing anymore. Um, I was always bloated and I always carried a lot of water weight around my midsection. I always felt really tired and sluggish and just really uncomfortable all of the time. So I started going to the doctor to see what I could do about that. And I personally wanted to go completely off the pill or go onto the copper IUD just to um, have a break from it. But my doctor at the time recommended that I switch to a different pill. And now for context, she said that I never should have been put on the Estelle pill in the first place when I was 16 and that my doctor, who was a man at the time, um, had no business putting me on that type of pill because that type of pill was specifically used for women who had really bad acne and I have never had acne my entire life. And so she was really in disbelief at why I was put on that pill in the first place because it actually has a synthetic type of progesterone. Now, what happened when I went off that pill and changed to a new pill is my acne that I currently have. I'll come in and show you guys. Um, it's better than it has been. It got really, really bad over Christmas. And now you might not think that this is a lot of acne, but I was the type of person who literally, I had had like two or three pimples in my entire life at this stage. So this started coming up and I started getting it on my chest and on my back as well. And when I asked her why that was happening, she said that it's because the pill that I was on being it designed for women with acne and that it was given to me as a person who did not have acne, it basically kind of fucked with my hormones with its synthetic progesterone and masked anything. And it was the reason that I stopped getting any acne at all, if that makes sense. So when I came off of it and changed to a different one, that in, in combination with now me being quite active and exercising all the time, my skin went crazy and started breaking out. So I went off of that pill after another month and I was basically begging to be put like just to be taken off the pill entirely. And she insisted that I try a different type of pill. And I did, and my mood swings just went all over the place. And so I finally decided to go see a naturopath. Now I'm gonna link her in the description below, but the naturopath that I saw is um, Hannah from Sprout Naturopathy, and she is in Paradise Point on the Gold Coast. Now she deals with a lot of women who come off the pill and really helps, but she has an extremely natural approach and a very holistic approach, which is very much up my alley. Now, when we, she also does live blood analysis. So my first appointment, we, she pricked my finger, we looked at my blood under the microscope and my blood was so unhealthy. It was so lethargic, congested, sticky, so much candida, so much like low iron, all of that sort of stuff. Like I was just really, really unhealthy. So her first step for me was just to completely get off of the pill. Now, that can be a little bit challenging completely coming off birth control because there are side effects that come with that. And for some women, it could be, you know, you might not get a period for a couple of months. For some women, your periods are irregular or they're really heavy and you get lots of pain or there's post pill hormonal acne, which is what I got. Now, this was something that was really difficult for me at first, getting acne as someone who had never had acne before, but I had to just stick with it because I knew that it was worth it in the long run. But she gave me some herbal um, mixtures and some other little supplements to help guide me just to support my immune system and my liver and um, my reproductive organs when coming off of the pill because after being on the pill for what was it six years straight um, it can be quite a shock to your body to come off so she was really amazing in helping me with that but the thing that I noticed when I came off the pill I dropped four kilos within three weeks my literally within three days of being off the pill my libido went from being like negative a thousand to being like above again, like I had a libido again, I had desire again, which was something that I hadn't had for about a year. Um, my 
puffiness, like all of my bloating just went away. Like I just lost so much water weight and I had so much more energy. Like I just felt better. So for me, when I started getting the acne, that was really, really difficult. But I sort of looked at this being like, you know what? I did all the studies and I read um, some books and a really great book to read is um, Hormone Repair Manual. I can't remember the name of the author, but I'll figure it out and uh, put it in the description as well. Um, but I just felt so much healthier. And then when I went back, you know, a couple months later after dealing with, you know, my other food intolerances and just being on the support from my naturopath, we looked at my blood again and my blood, the difference in my blood was mind blowing. Like it was just so healthy. It wasn't congested. It was moving the way it should be. It wasn't stuck together. They were just really happy blood cells. And the difference between that and what I started with, and that was basically all due to coming off of the pill because the pill just is not healthy for you. Now I understand that for some people the pill is great as a last resort to deal with some problems but the message that I'm really trying to get across in this video is that if you have the luxury to get off of the pill or to get off of birth control I really really recommend you take that because the pill is not good for you. It has so many side effects, it is not natural, it causes so many problems within our reproductive organs, within our entire body, within our energy and it's just it's not good for us and we've come to a point in our society where I feel like the pill is almost like a rite of passage that doctors give to young girls it's like oh you've got cramps here go on the pill oh you've got um acne here go on the pill and it, all it does is it's a band-aid so it's masking your symptoms but it's not actually fixing the root cause of the problem and yes fixing the root cause of the problem will take more time and can be harder but in the long run it is so much worth it is so so worth it because you look at how many women in our generation and in the generation above us who have, you know, um, PCOS, who have endometriosis, who have trouble with fertility, who just have all of these product problems. And there are, a lot of them are really stemmed from the pill. Now, in the months coming off of the pill, I also continued to lose weight because it almost seemed like my body actually was responding to me. So I actually have lost 13 kilos since coming off of the pill. And that is a combination of coming off of the pill and also eating well and eating better and nourishing my body and exercising. But I don't think that would have happened if I remained on the pill. Now, my skin is still not back to where it was. I still have acne. I'm still having a lot of scarring that I'm getting treated with um, a micro needling, um, skin needling. But my body has never been healthier. My mind has never been healthier. And the more that I've been off the pill, because I am currently not on any contraception, and neither my partner and I do not use any contraception either, because I um, just am a bit sensitive down there. So I personally use the app Flow um, just to track my period. Um, and I take my temperature every day to see when I'm fertile, because this was the other thing that I figured out when I went to the naturopath was women are only fertile for a couple of days a month. That's it. Like... It's really unlikely to get pregnant on the other days of the month, if not near impossible. And this was something that I have never, ever been taught. Like years ago, when I would, when I, I would literally be taking morning after pills as well as the pill that I was on because I was so paranoid about getting pregnant. But it's just not the case, and I was doing all of this damage to my body. But women are not taught that we're only fertile for a couple of days a month. So it's like once you know when your fertile window is and those period tracking apps and taking your temperature every morning can help you figure that out. It's really easy to be fully off of birth control because you know when you're fertile and you can have measures in place to make sure that you're being safe during that time. So that was one other thing I found out and my cycle has now synced up with the moon because I'm quite really big into like the lunar cycles and I really highly recommend you read more about that. Um, Magic of Eye is a fantastic Instagram page um, that can help teach you about tracking your period with the lunar cycles because the lunar cycle and the menstrual cycle are linked 28 day cycles. But since coming off the pill, like my period has never been more like it's it hasn't been painful in so long. It, like they're not heavy. Like I actually enjoy having my period. And also I changed my mindset around my period. Like my period is my body's way of getting rid of energy. It's my body's way of getting rid of anything toxic from the past month that needs to be expelled from my body and released before going into the new month. And by having a newfound appreciation for my period and what it does for my body and how good it is for me, my periods have been way less painful. They haven't hurt at all. They're light. They're just much more enjoyable and I actually look forward to having them. And 
a big part of that was obviously learning about tracking the period and then also learning about more about the energetical and lunar cycle side of it, which I really highly recommend you all do um, as women have been doing it for millennia. Um, but the biggest part of that was coming off of the pill. And I just cannot recommend it enough because the pill is just so toxic. The like, And, you know, the copper IUD could be another great option if, you don't want to fully come off of any birth control, um, which is completely understandable as it's way less hormonal, like it's very localized hormones and it's just the next best option to being on nothing. But if you have the luxury to be on nothing, get off of the pill. Like un unless you, you know, you have a really underlying medical condition where the pill really actually helps that. Obviously there are some cases like that where it's important, but if you can go see a naturopath, especially like a female naturopath, who has a specialized um, knowledge in women's reproduction, reproductive health and periods, I would really recommend that to see what your next best steps are because since coming off the pill, yes, I may have a bit of acne, but I lost 13 kilos. I have so much more energy. I feel better about myself. My confidence is through the roof. I don't have mood swings. I'm never depressed. I don't feel as anxious as I used to all the time. Like the benefits are just incredible. And that is all due to coming off of the pill. So if that's the biggest lesson that I can get for you guys out of this video is go explore your options because the pill is a band-aid. The pill will just mask your symptoms and it's not going to fix the root cause of the problems. And in fact, in a lot of people, it causes more problems than good. Just something worth thinking about and maybe exploring because as I said, it is masking the symptoms. It is just a band-aid overall. And I can attest for so many women who have come off it the benefits are just incredible and this is not the solution. And, you know, it's just something that I think we need to start having more conversations about and helping other women with because so many women struggle with this. And so that's why I really wanted to share my journey with coming off of the pill with you guys to hope that maybe you can, you know, relate it back to your own life and maybe just explore the options that this might not be the only option for you that there could be other avenues to explore and go down and i would love for you guys to send me any questions on instagram if you have more about my journey with coming off the pill i would love to share more information with you because this is something that i think we need to educate each other on so that's my journey with coming off of the pill and my reason why sharing this video so i really hope you guys got something out of it um and yeah feel free to message me on Instagram, if there are any questions you have, I am definitely an open book in this topic. But biggest message of the of the video is explore your options. The pill is not a solution. Yeah.